My name is Brian Reed. I'm the Chief Mobility Officer here at NowSecure. It's really important to understand the differences between mobile and web when you look at application security testing and privacy. Mobile and web have fundamentally different architectures. In fact, for a web application, 98% of the actual application runs behind the firewall, so you have your entire perimeter defense that you can use to build layers to defend that back end. And really good web coding strategy is minimal code running in a browser on a client. And in fact, that browser client itself has SSL, an encrypted tunnel built in, and the developer for that browser-based application doesn't have to deal with anything in terms of infrastructure of, or security where that browser runs. Flip that over to mobile, it's a completely different animal. Yes, they might share some APIs on the back end, but the reality is a mobile application runs on an entire operating system and all the code, 100% of that code's on the operating system. Because of the quality of reversing tools today, any any attacker or developer or security analyst can completely reverse an application on iOS or Android. And so basically your IP itself is not safe on that device and you should assume that an application would be reversed. In addition, the mobile application developer doesn't have the browser infrastructure in place. So the mobile application developer has to know how to code the network properly and do things like two-way TLS and manage certificate and so on and so forth. They also need to know how to manage memory and local file I.O. as well and make sure they're not persisting any data they shouldn't persist on the device. And so while it might appear that mobile and web are similar, fundamental differences in architecture, fundamentally that 98% of web runs behind the firewall where 100% of mobile runs on a device in the wild with no security and protections built in, is what makes it very different. And so when you look at your testing strategy, your security strategy, and your development strategy, all three need to take into account these differences. And that means taking the right approach to secure and protect the mobile infrastructure and the mobile application at runtime. So as we recognize that mobile applications and web applications are fundamentally different, let's actually talk about a real attack pattern, right? And so how do the attackers go after your mobile application? Well, it starts with downloading and surveilling the application. Because the reversing tools today, they'll reverse the iOS or Android binary and get down to code or close to code. They'll now interactively manipulate that application in a jailbroken or rooted device where they can completely control the operating system and monitor the network, the file I.O., the memory interactions, and everything else. They'll very quickly figure out the IP that's embedded in your application. They'll start harvesting private information from the device, and they'll start mapping out back-end endpoint connections and how data is transmitted. They likely are going to discover that if you're not doing proper encrypted communication, they'll discover that no hostname validation or no certificate validation is being uh, created. And so as a result, they'll realize that not only can they harvest information, they can now actually create an attack. And so they'll stand up a new infrastructure and they'll actually redirect production application users to a back-end endpoint and fish those users to harvest their information, possibly transfer money, redirect actions, or otherwise. And so as you think about mobile doesn't necessarily seem like the same risk, the reality is mobile is a higher risk than your website because the amount of IP that can be found and how easy it is to redirect an application to a phishing site and launch new kinds of attacks. So now Secure brings to the table a full end-to-end -end solution suite to enable organizations to bring mobile application security and privacy into their business however they need it. So it might be to start with an outsourced pen test because you don't have teams able to do the work, but you've got to get some testing now. Perhaps triage a new release. It could be start with a security analyst professional who needs to be more effective in doing their own internal work. And so that means collapsing a pen test from two weeks to an hour or a day. It might be moving to on-demand SaaS cloud software like many other parts of engineering to enable on-demand testing by development or by the security or QA teams. And for many organizations today, it means then migrating into a fully automated testing environment that enables an organization to continuously test every build every day and feed the ticketing and results every build every day into the system so the developers can fix them the next day. And so now Secure has a really unique position in the market as the only vendor that brings the complete services expertise and software capabilities from periodic to fully automated and back for continuous security. And that allows you to raise the bar of your security and privacy in order to deliver secure mobile apps faster.